Hey guys and welcome to Photoshop for you. In this tutorial we're gonna make the dispersion smoke effect. If you remember a few years ago I just did dispersion effect with the ink brush. This time I'm gonna do it with this image and we're gonna make it as you can see here a dispersion smoke effect like is smoked out okay over here as you can see okay let's get started we have the source image this one is the source image and um, guys you have it in the description below I give you a link to this image you can practice with me you can open the files and see the video and do what I'm doing step by step and you going to nail it okay so we want to make a selection so there's a lot of ways to make a selection or masks in Photoshop okay so I'm going to make my selection we're gonna use and this time we're gonna use the quick selection tool because the selection is going to be very easy because there's a white background as you can see here it's a white background and it's very easy to mask it and to select whatever you want or whatever you need okay so we're going to make a rough selection after I select this character I want to mask it so now if I'm going to click here the icon below mask he will disappear why because I didn't select him actually I did I select the background around him so to do that to select this character I must go to select inverse and then my selection is this character so now when I'm clicking mask it will mask the white background okay perfect and I want to show my selected I just did a earlier a better mask because I don't have the time to mask it in this video so what I want to do is duplicate this layer by clicking on the keyboard Control and J okay we just did it so now the first one is going to I gonna leave it white and the second one is going to be black so I will click it control delete and it will be black what it means that this one is we don't see this layer as you can see when I'm hiding the first one you don't see the underneath it why because this is the black mask it means it's not shown okay now in this mask only we click it and we choose our brushes okay let's click over here in the toolbar brush perfect now let's select our brush I want to make it large as you can see here and I'm going to make my selection this one let's say this one okay now we're gonna decrease the size okay this one is good the angle is good now make sure in black mode okay this is black mode white as you can see here white doesn't delete nothing black is deleting like this perfect do it again over here legs let's change our brush to this one decrease the pixels just like this one yeah this one is cool do it again choose a different brush decrease the size and a few stroke here a few strokes there until we are done okay now I want a bigger one and a different one okay the same process again and again until you get the good result that you're looking for okay now we are done with the white mask now we're gonna use the black mask but before we do it we're gonna select only 
the image over here in the layers, image, and we're gonna go to filters, liquify, just like that. And we're gonna use the first tool, okay? The forward warp tool, this one. Now we're gonna increase the size, okay? And we're gonna smush it just like this over here until we see this image like this okay perfect let's click okay and we're done now we're gonna choose our brush and we're gonna switch to white because we're gonna we want to see what we are going to brush okay so let's do this choose our brush and start showing over here <clears throat> okay now we're gonna we're gonna click this layer and control T and we're going to enlarge the image just like this okay over here and a bit here click enter Okay, now we're going to use our brush. Let's see what we what, what we have here. Okay, this not this one is not a good brush. Let's choose a different brush. Let's see what this one does. Just like that. Boom. Different one, maybe a different angle. Okay. Boom. There you have it. It's very important to switch between brushes, guys, because you don't want to see a, a pattern because it's not professional. So you must switch the angles and the brushes all the time. Now we want to smoke for the leg. Decrease the size a bit. Okay, this one is good. And boom. Yeah. Now, let's crop the image a little bit bigger, okay, this one is good. Now, I want to delete this line. What I do is I select my brush and instead of black, I'm doing it white. So I can delete it over here, as you can see here, perfect, over here. Okay guys, we just did it. Now I want to take the background, to use the background over here. I will give you the background as well. I will take it, thank you. And I will use it here, okay. Now, we're gonna crop the image again until we see the shadow over here. We get the illusion that is jumping, okay. Background needs to be in the background, guys. Perfect. Now we're gonna make a few changes over here, as you can see. I'm gonna use our brush. Now I want to use the black one. Okay, guys, we just did the dispersion effect. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, leave your comments below, and thumbs up. To this video and share it with your friends. Until next time, bye.